Welcome to the Wall Framing and Foundation Design course. Whether you are a design enthusiast, a professional residential designer, an architect, or an engineer, this course is built for you. The Wall Framing and Foundation Design course is the second module in a four-module series that also includes the Conventional Roof Framing Module, the Conventional Floor and Deck Framing Module, and the Wall Bracing Module. This training series is intended to deliver a top-notch learning experience that is centered on the structural design of wood-framed residential structures according to the adopted state residential codes that are based on the International Residential Code. Nearly all states in the United States have adopted the International Residential Code by the International Code Council. This module and all the other modules in this series may be used to provide continuing education units or CEUs that are required by the International Code Council as well as various professional organizations and government agencies. The development of this course was guided by the assumption that the primary reason you are considering taking this course is to acquire the ability to complete the structural design of residential buildings and put together a complete set of structural drawings for permit issuance and construction. We have also considered that you may not have any training as a civil or structural engineer. Therefore, we have spared no effort to ensure that this course has the capacity to help you achieve this objective. The good news is that you do not need to be a civil or structural engineer to complete a conventional construction design in all the states where the International Residential Code is adopted. The structural design process begins after the architectural design is completed which means that the structural designer works within the architectural concept. Wall framing elements and foundations support the roof framing elements and upper floors. This means that all the roof loads including dead loads, live loads or snow loads and wind uplift loads will be transferred to the bearing walls supporting the roof framing. Additionally, lateral loads including wind loads and seismic loads are also supported by the wall framing. Therefore, we start by breaking down the intricacies of wall loading where we will walk you through the critical wall loading requirements outlined in the residential building codes. We will also show you how to use resources outside the code to determine wall loading. This comprehensive introduction will open the way that allows us to dive into the heart of wall framing where we will embark on a thorough and extremely rigorous exploration on the code provisions for the design and construction of wall studs, top plates and bottom plates, headers, jack studs and king studs, wall sheathing and framing connections including the anchorage of the sill plate to the foundations. You will learn how these elements work together to create a safe, sturdy structure, and how to design and size each component as required by the code. Additionally, we will undertake an in-depth and highly detailed examination of the code requirements governing the design and construction of wall foundations, foundations with concrete stem walls, foundations with masonry stem walls, concrete foundation walls and masonry foundation walls. We will drill deeper to give you a solid understanding of the material elements and characteristics of concrete and masonry including the required conformance standards. We will delve further to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the essential elements on the installation of steel reinforcement. You will discover how these components interact to form a safe and durable structure, as well as how to design and size each element in compliance with code requirements. One important section on this course that we have not highlighted is the section on the protection of wood against decay. This section brings together the requirements laid out in the code and the guidelines provided by the American Wood Protection Association. The result is an exhaustive lesson on preservative treatment of lumber with respect to the levels of treatment required, the locations where this treatment is required and how to specify this information on the drawings. As you will realize with this course and all our courses, we do not stop at how framing elements are designed but we go a step further to show you how they are specified on the drawings. This course is carefully designed and crafted to deliver full value. We will take you on a learning journey that consists of three carefully structured and exceptionally delivered critical elements. The first element consists of a comprehensive exposition of the code provisions on conventional wall framing. This is where we will immerse ourselves into the code content using state-of-the-art graphics to bring to life the static code provisions. Additionally, you will have access to our quizzes to enhance your learning and broaden your understanding of the code provisions. The second element consists of the use of examples to demonstrate the application of code provisions. 
This will allow us to uncover deep lessons and key insights into the rigor necessary for code-compliant design. This hands-on approach enhances your learning by showing how the principles we discuss are applied in actual projects, helping you connect theory with practice. The third element which is the crown jewel of this course is the comprehensive design project that we will undertake towards the end of this course. This is where we will take you through the thought process, the considerations and the work that goes into initiating and completing a conventional wall and foundation framing design from the architectural layouts to the final construction drawings. While this is not a drafting course, we will expose you to the drafting experience and show you how drawings are put together including the information that needs to be provided on those drawings. The drawings that we will use in selected examples and the drawings that we will develop in the design project will be available for you to download and use to enhance your learning. Whether you're looking to expand your professional skills, enhance your DIY expertise, or simply understand wall and foundation framing at a deeper level, this course has everything you need to succeed. Your journey to mastering conventional wall and foundation framing design starts here. Join us and let us build something amazing together.